It's November 2020 and I'm in Shanghai and I'm not alone. Joining the more than 24 million people that call this city home are 2,600 exhibitors and 400,000 professional visitors, all here for the China International Import Expo, the CIIE. The Expo, which is in its third year and began November the 5th, features at its heart a huge exposition space spanning 360,000 square metres, bringing together businesses, innovators, buyers and officials who meet, negotiate and ink contracts to bring new goods and services to the Chinese market. While the Expo comes against the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic, the exhibition space has actually expanded by 30,000 square metres this year, signalling that restrictions on international travel and personal exchanges have not dampened exhibitors' resolve to be present. And that's why I'm here, to meet some of them and find out their motivations for attending. I'm Helen Bentley and this is Shimo Special at the CIIE. President Xi Jinping delivered a keynote speech at the opening ceremony, elaborating on his vision for strength and cooperation and wider opening up. We 推动经济全球化，朝着更加开放、包容、互惠、平衡、共赢的方向发展。We have covered the CIIE each year since its inception in 2018, when the event facilitated deals worth 57.83 billion US dollars. The following year, contracts valued at 71.13 billion US dollars were inked. And this year continued the trend, with agreements valued at 72.62 billion US dollars. But what products and services do these deals relate to? Food and agriculture, consumer goods, vehicles, healthcare and medical equipment, trade in services, intelligent industry and information technology. And many of the exhibitors have enjoyed import exemptions on the products that they have brought with them here. Many industry leaders chose to launch new products at the CIIE. Japanese cosmetics maker Fankel has attended the expo each year since its inception. So I've come to find out what they've brought with them this year. Uh, I just came here uh, on October 18th and uh, I had the you know, quarantine period, 14 days actually. Many major company from may, may, many countries uh, joined this uh, CIIE. So uh, many people from China come to visit, you know, this event. So uh, this is a very good chance for Franco to be known by people in China, actually. Uh, last year, we gathered, you know, 15,000 uh, visitors for this booth, actually. China market is the uh, second largest, you know, market for Franco, actually. China is growing very fast. To be frank, in China, uh, we are quite, you know, positive about, you know, this pandemic. Because China government uh, stopped, you know, this pandemic very quickly, and uh, this is only most, uh, almost the only country uh, who is on the track to, you know, grow. Actually, not surprisingly, COVID-19 has made people more aware of healthcare and services, and I've been told that places at the corresponding area here at the CIIE were especially competitive this year. In the end, 300 exhibitors managed to secure a booth, of which over 70 are Fortune 500 and industry leaders. A subsection for public health and epidemic prevention debuted this year. Due to demand, the area grew sixfold from its intended space to 12,000 square metres. Another sign of confidence in the growth of this area is the fact that a number of pharmaceutical giants have signed on to participate in the CIIE for the next three years. One industry leader is German pharmaceutical company Boehringer Ingelheim, who returns to the CIIE this year for the second time. 
During last year's CIE, we have managed to secure contracts uh, worth of 200 million RMB. We also uh, very successfully expanded on our stroke offerings, which we will also be showcasing uh, this year. We have managed since then to successfully uh, supply already the product to our Chinese customers. We also plan to participate in CIEs also next year because we believe it's a great platform for meeting authorities, customers, partners. It's a great platform for exchange, which can drive innovation in China. The, the pandemic has impacted the whole world and it's also had impact on the Chinese market, but uh, we are observing quite a strong rebound of the Chinese economy. It's all well and good talking up the number of people who are attending this year, but what about the well-being and safety of attendees? This is no easy job. All participants must test negative for COVID-19, the venue is disinfected regularly and food and exhibited items are also monitored and tested. Added to this and to support participation, some signing ceremonies and roadshows have been moved online. Up to 70% of the world's top 500 companies that have exhibited in the CIIE in the first and second iterations have returned this year and their exhibition space has increased by 14%. Companies like that, the one that made this car and I'm going to find out a bit more about them now. It's the third time uh, and we've literally just signed a contract about two hours ago to commit to come next year so uh, we're very committed to CIE. It's sort of a, a, a platform that allows you to turn exhibits very quickly into goods and uh, products for Chinese consumers extremely quickly. So it's a, it's a great platform. So the, the, the breadth of products and produce that's here shows you that it's a way to link to the outside world. And I am pretty confident that a lot of companies after this will make plans to import their produce and their goods here. So uh, it's a very live and dynamic research into what people think. So consumer confidence is growing and we are extremely confident about the rest of Q4. And we're also pretty confident about next year. The IMF predicts that the global economy will contract by 4.4% in 2020, and China will be the only major economy to post positive growth. Being the world's second largest importer, China has in recent years lowered tariffs on multiple occasions, expanded imports, continuously increased the number of its free trade zones to 21, and upgraded Hainan Free Trade Zone to a free trade port. Xiaibo 为国际社会注入更多正能量 Rather than a solitary event, therefore, the CIIE is not only an opportunity for foreign firms to gain access to the Chinese market, but also creates opportunities for growth outside of China's borders. I'll see you next time. <laughs>